Hey, good afternoon. Hope everybody's had a wonderful work day. You know, I wanted to touch base on a few things and following up on that theme of theme, teamwork that seems to have been, it just keeps coming up in the practice this week. And, you know, it's, it's, it's important to be surrounded by great team members because, you know, my friend Trace has a great saying, teamwork makes the dream work, and that is absolutely true. But it's also true that, you know, you've got to, when you're the customer, you've got to be part of that team. You can't be recalcitrant. You can't be resistant to the the needs of your team members and you know when you're when you when you have big problems uh, that you have to see and seek expensive solutions for here's a simple example estate planning uh, you've got a large estate you've you've inherited you've saved you, you've been thrifty you need to participate in the estate planning procedures with your team to facilitate the actual orderly and complete finalization of that estate plan. The worst thing you can do is to have a $3,000 trust drafted if you even needed a $3,000 trust or a $5,000 trust and then never fill out the change beneficiary forms. Never transfer any property into the trust. It, then you've paid $3,000 for a shell document and you've created a trust that has no assets, there's nothing to distribute and there's nothing that can be sheltered. So participate in in the teamwork because uh, teamwork, as my friend Trey says, makes the dream work. And another thing that you know you need to think about doing and you know back to just estate planning because it's on my mind today. I've been, I've been working with some great clients to finalize their estate plan and feeling really blessed to, to be able to help them through that process and procedure. But one of the things that you need to think about doing at the conclusion of drafting whatever instruments you're having, whether it's just a simple will, deed on death, ladybird trust, whatever that may be, trust instrument for the uh, benefit of minor children, what have you, make sure that you've got all your change of beneficiary forms with you at the time that you sign the trust declaration or the wills so that way it's all done at once you know there's not it's not piecemeal and you don't have to remember or more likely than not forget that you do need to go to your life insurance company and get a change of beneficiary form or your bank and get a payable on death designation for the benefit of that trust or what have you for the benefit of your spouse and those are things that you know just being being a little more proactive instead of reactive and they'll save a lot of steps and a lot of problems down the road because you know lawyers are the worst 90 percent of us are going to die in test state without a will and that means it's just a free-for-all it's up for grads has to be administered through the court has to be administered with court supervision and it and it adds complexity and difficulty to an already stressful situation so be proactive, be part of the team, solve those problems, work with your team to solve those problems. Anyway, have a wonderful week, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you soon.